Welcome TMDDTM viewers to another episode of Things My Dad Didn't Teach Me. So first let me welcome back all of our faithful followers and welcome any new viewers uh, to the channel. Today I want to share with you a fire pit that we just completed here in my backyard. As you can see a fire pit doesn't have to be this mundane thing. You can actually make a beautiful fire pit area that's all inspiring. So I'm hoping that uh, we can share that with you today. As you can see, this is what phase two looked like. It was functional, but we hadn't got to the point where we've actually made it an enjoyable seating area where you can just enjoy the beautiful scenery of the work that's been completed. The majority of the project, uh, we actually got our materials from a place called uh, Floor and Decor here in um, the Phoenix area. And as you can see, what I tried to do was give you some basic ideas of the materials needed uh, to do some of the completed stonework in terms of finishing the fire pit. Like I said earlier, it was functional, it just wasn't very beautiful. Let us show you what we actually did here. First, we actually decided on a paint color, so we painted this thing, this beautiful uh, navy blue. Um, decided to buy this material called Ultraflex LFT Mortar, which is for heavy tile. The stuff worked great. I had very minimal movement in the actual product once it was actually placed on the wall in terms of the ledger stone material that we were actually using. So I'll walk you through how this project actually went um, and hopefully you can be inspired and it'll uh, give you some ideas on some things you can possibly do yourself. So here we're just mixing up the, uh, the mortar base that we'll be using to apply the ledger stone. As you can see here, we've reached a consistency uh, that's similar to a thick peanut butter. Uh, I use a wet saw tile cutter uh, for the ledger stone. I cut my pieces to a desired length as we kind of walk through this project. So here we're beginning the tiling process. So as you can see here, uh, once you got your mortar base uh, to the desired uh, consistency, it's just a matter of spreading this thing on. It's like putting peanut butter on a piece of toast. I mean it's fairly simple. Uh, you get the right trial and you actually lay your materials out and you cut your pieces and uh, you know you stick and go. You know you just kind of move it forward. A buddy of mine had actually asked me, hey man why do you actually take the time to make these videos and share the projects that you actually do? Um, I just want to inspire people and I want people to realize that you know the large majority of your spend on any project isn't in the material. It's actually in the labor. So uh, if you can feel comfortable buying your own equipment and tools, then you can make your work uh, look beautiful as well. This was about a 20 hour job uh, to complete phase three, the finishing process. The first 10 hours of the day uh, we spent putting this front portion of the material on, as you can actually see, this was day one. Notice I have a level here, uh, I'm trying to make sure that I keep the parts uh, the material level, like I said, the mortar that we were using did a good job of holding, but I had to prop it up with some stakes uh, at the bottom uh, to make sure that it didn't slide on me while it was actually curing. So that's the end of uh, day number one. So this is the next morning when we're coming out and actually taking a look at what we have laid out in terms of putting the ledger stone around um, the, the base that we had actually painted. Notice I made quite a mess with the mortar so we're going to need to do a touch up job with the uh, paint again to get rid of some of the white marks that we had actually had to wipe off. Again notice the stakes laying around here but actually holding up the ledger stone while we're actually letting it dry. You know, one of the things I love about working these projects outdoors here in Arizona, it's rare that you have a bad weather day. Correction, it's rare that you have a rainy day, but you definitely have hot days. But we address that just by making sure we stay hydrated out here. So notice the cutouts here for the lights that wrap around the entire seating area of the fire pit. So as you'll notice, this ledger stone just really makes the space look a little beefier. Um, you know, even though you see this blunt cut, the beauty of what we're going to do is complete this with Carrera marble strips. 
So you can see it's still quite messy there, but no worries. We're going to actually run the uh, ledger stone. I'm sorry, we're going to run the career marble strips around that, that area. So here you can see we actually already started to apply the career marble strips. We uh, wrapped the entire seating area. Uh, that seating area that we laid out, it's actually pretty large. It's a 14 by 12 foot uh, space. So my wife came behind me and cleaned up my mess with the paint uh, just to make sure that everything looked smooth and had a clean transition. With this Arizona sun on it, uh, that blue is actually navy, but it kind of comes out closer to a royal blue, uh, kind of in between a royal blue and a navy blue. You can see here that we used a black onyx glass just to give it a little more vibrancy in terms of the reflection from the sun. And there you have it, another project wrapped up. Hey, I hope this inspired you. I hope you feel more comfortable. hope you guys feel like you can go out and actually execute a project. Uh, this way it's not complicated always remember if you can do the math you can do the projects as we continue to do projects around here we'll continue to post our actual videos uh, possibly learn how to do some additional projects that you've been considering take the time to subscribe um, share this project with other folks and uh, look forward to the next video God bless